All right. Welcome to the March Project Prevent Statewide Meeting. We have a handful of things to go over and some things to share with you. I have Stephanie here with me. Um, we're going to run through a few things and um, just kind of talk about what we have coming up for the rest of the school semester because we're almost halfway through the spring semester. Um, and I know a lot of you are really looking forward to spring break here in the next week or so. And um, I just wanted to kind of um, share some things that we'll be doing for the rest of the semester and also kind of give you guys some ideas of what you could um, squeeze in before the school year's up. So first I wanted to talk about Ready, Set, Record, the film festival. We had so much fun and we had such a great turnout. We had um, every single school that was a finalist that received an award was able to be there, which is the first time um, that I know of that every single school was represented. Um, and then we had several of our Project Prevent chapters and a SWAG team that was able to come um, and participate. And um, we're just really, really happy with the turnout and it was a lot of fun. So you can see we have a new giant banner that we had outside. So it was really popular for, for pictures and Stephanie got a lot of great pictures. So at the top left is Drew Central all the way from Monticello. The bottom left is Valley View from Jonesboro. And then the big one on the right is our friends in Texarkana at Arkansas High School. So um, I just have a few more. Our swag team at JA Fair here in Little Rock was able to be here and we were so thankful that they were able to come. Um, we had lots of different things kind of going on. Um, and this to the left is the, the photo booth, which we had several other props, but the cell phone was really popular. So Stephanie was able to make this awesome <laughs> cell phone um, giant photo prop and um it was a really big hit so um it it did not tear up i was no, surprised it, it held up. up it held up quite well she did a good job on it so we'll be able to use it um at some other events too so um oh thank you when i meet okay um and then let's see who else did we have uh all the way from el dorado was j was um barton junior high and I love when you guys show up to things because you come in such a big group. I mean, Miss Carrie fills the school bus and you guys came up and represented. And when you enter the room, everybody notices because you guys are just such a big, awesome group. That's extreme youth down in El Dorado. So I'm glad that you guys were able to come. Um, who else did we have? Uh, East M, uh, East Village here in Little Rock, that's them on the left, and they actually were awarded um, at a different event the week before, and that's their certificate that they were um, recognized from an event um, that one of our favorite partners, Miss Joyce Rayner, did an event to recognize um, groups that she works with in Central Arkansas, and the East M chapter was um, like a, a rising star type of award, so, and that's uh, Miss Rayner posing in the middle there with the students and then Miss Braddock's their advisor um, to the right. And then the picture all the way to the right is some of our chapter winners. And this was Cross County High School in the intermediate category for Ready, Set, Record. They were the first place winners at Cross County. Um, their video was really, really good. The editing was fantastic. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch any of these, they're all on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, they're also on our YouTube channel, probably be easier to find them on Facebook, but if you are familiar with our YouTube channel, which we keep all of our recorded statewide meetings there too, um, I believe they're all on there also. Maybe in a playlist. Yeah, probably in a playlist, but um, we, there, there were just some really, really good videos this year. We've been going through the evaluations from everyone, not just that came to the film festival, that, but also just submitted videos, um, and one of the things that people are asking for is a little bit more like feedback on their videos and maybe some tips along the way of how they can improve their videos. So we're really looking forward to making some of those improvements next year. And now that we have our website, we'll be able to do a lot of other things. We can put a common like question and answer piece under Ready, Set, Record on the website and um, do some different things. So we're looking forward to next year as usual. As soon as an event ends, we're already talking about how we're gonna do it better next year. But I was really, really happy with Ready, Set, Record this year. Um, everyone got popcorn and drinks as they came in. They left with lunch and a goodie bag. We had a Snapchat filter and then of course our photo booths and um, some guest speakers. What else? Um, okay, the, the top left is more uh, students from Barton. The bottom left is Cross County posing with the cell phone. And then the top right is Hot Springs 
East, and which is also one of our chapters, yay, and they were winners this year. Um, in the intermediate category, they won third place, and they had a great video that really represented Project Prevent really well. I loved it. You used uh, the logo and the colors, and I just thought it was awesome. And I love in the picture, Sebastian is explaining away how he was <laughs> working on that video. Um, he worked very hard, and so did the um, the girls, too. That's Lauren and Takiera. And then the bottom right, our friends from Charleston, also big winners. Um, they won third place in the beginner ca category, and their video was so hilarious. And just I just can't even... I just cracked up the first time I watched it. We watched it, I don't know how many times in the office, times. sharing exactly. it with everybody in our office. So they're the educated corn holers. I'll just say that. And then you can um, go and watch it. <laughs> um, but they did a really great job too. So it was a fun day. We had some dancing going on. These are our friends from um, Barton and Fair and um, Lisa. There's even some girls from Pulaski Academy down there. So uh, we really had a lot of fun. There was dancing both inside and out. Um, of course, it was youth led, which is my favorite. My favorite part of the day was our hosts that we used this year. So in the past, we've always kind of had like a local, like celebrity type person host the event. Sometimes it's been people from like our local news stations and that type of thing. But this year we were like, no, we want our students we want our students to be able to host an event. And these two did awesome. They were so cute up there. They were <laughs> so great. This is Harlem and Chi Chi from Lisa Academy West here in Little Rock. And they are so charismatic. They were so funny. And I just love all these little pictures that Stephanie was able to capture. The many faces of uh, Harlem and Shishi. They brought the energy. They did. <laughs> they did. They did such a great job. Um, and that's that youth-led, fact-fed model that I love so much that um, we're able to um, count on our students because you guys are, you're just all, we're just so impressed by you all, all the time, not just with the project, you know, that we do statewide that we get to see you, but all of the, um, when you send in your reports and all of the pictures that we get, and we'll highlight some I'm um, here at the end of today's meeting, but you guys just amaze us all the time. So um, we had a great time at Ready, Set, Record, and thankful for those of you that were able to, to make it, and thankful for those of you that submitted videos, and um, we're just looking to continue to grow um, and be able to um, kind of grow the, the event, but also get more students participating in creating these tobacco-free, um, nicotine-free commercials, because they're um, a great way for you guys to um, share, you know, this message. You can play these videos at your school. You can um, share them on your own social media, and um, they're just very useful. Last year, um, one of the winners we used um, their video on the like jumbo screen at the Arkansas Travelers baseball games. So um, every every year we pick out one or two that we um, can can repurpose and use um, throughout the year. There was one this year that was a Christmas theme that was really good. So we put, we'll probably be using that one around Christmas too. So we'll be able to share that with you guys. You can use it also. Um, let's see. So let's talk about what we have what we have coming up. Um, so if you are familiar with Kick Butts Day, it's been around for years and years. Um, they have changed the name to Take Down Tobacco, the National Day of Action. So this is from the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, um, and it's um, a national day where students are involved in tobacco prevention and education. And it is March 18th, but we have an event March 17th here in Arkansas. So it's at the state capitol. Um, ATOD stands for Alcohol, Tobacco, and Other Drugs, but it's ATOD Kids uh, Free Kids Day 2020, and that's a Tuesday. It's from 11 to 1, and lunch is provided. It's free, and there's a link where you can register, and you can see this letter to the side, um, and I'll attach all of this to the email when I send out the recording today, but this is a letter um, that you would probably need um, to share with your principal in order to get permission to come. I know that Poen is planning to come. Um, and so maybe some of our other schools here in, in uh, Little Rock, but uh, we'll be there. Stephanie and I will be there. The um, actual event is um, at noon on the Capitol front steps, but they have like some fun things going on from 11 to noon. And then they provide lunch afterwards too. There's a little um, schedule at the top right there. But if you guys are able to come, um, we would love to see you there. And we're partnering with a lot of um, others around the state that do um, tobacco prevention as well as, you know, alcohol and other drug prevention and that we've grown to just love and um, be able to be great friends with the RAD groups and of course, um, Family Service Agency that we've worked with forever and 
Center for Healing Hearts and Spirits and Brandon House, which has a chapter. So we're just really um, excited to participate in that. And let me know if you have any questions about it. And then you want to talk about travelers? Yeah. So another super fun and exciting thing that we have coming up is the school days at the Travelers Games at Diggy Stevens Field. And some of you guys came last year. We did this last year. Project Prevent is like the big sponsor for the school days. And so every year, um, two, one day a week for, there's two weeks that they do it. And the travelers just like bust in a bunch of kids from schools and it's all kids. It's a game um, during the day. And they bust in a bunch of kids um, to the field and they have hot dogs and drinks and popcorn and all that fun stuff. Um, and so the games this year are Wednesday, April 15th and Wednesday, April 29th. So there's a little link here, I think, where you can register and then we'll send it out too. But we'd love for you guys to come and hang out. We'll have a little booth there with some things going on. And then also just come out and enjoy the game. Oh, here's all the little stuff um, about. It includes a little food voucher where you can get a hot dog, bag of chips, and then a Sprite. Um, and then all the information about when the gates open and things like that. So we'd love to see you there. Last year, we were able to throw some, like, um, we threw t-shirts, oh, yeah. I think, out into the crowd. And this year, we have some, like, little squeezy stress balls that are brains and lungs um, that have a message, um, a tobacco and nicotine uh, message on each one. So, anyway, we'll have some things like that that we throw into the crowd, like, in between the innings. And we also had some students last year get to throw out yes. the first pitch, which was super cool. That's so right. Yeah, we used got kids to, to throw out the first yeah, pitch. Take we, their picture with some of the players and things like that. And then um, one school, can I remember who it was? We brought someone up to the, um, to the, radio, the, booth. the radio booth. Yeah, because we get, like, a live radio time, too, Thanks. where we can talk about Project Prevent. Um, I cannot remember who that was, but we brought some students up to the, mm -hmm. um, to the very top, um, of the booth too. But then we also, um, wanted to, you know, any, if you, any of you guys are able to be there, we need your help, like throwing out items into the crowd and, um, all that fun stuff too. So we'd love if you guys could join us. It's a really fun two days. Also, so my reason to write is open now. That's our second big project. Um, other than Ready, Set, Record, and it is a writing contest for grades second through eighth. And the theme this year is We Speak, kind of going with the megaphone theme that we've had throughout the year. And so here's some more information on it. And it's, most of you guys might already have the poster and information. I'm sure we can send it out again. But it's open now, and it closes on April 10th. So you still have plenty of time to get your entries in. High schools and junior highs, this could be a really cool thing to go down and talk to your elementary kids about and kind of promote it and get them excited. We'd love for those ages to submit their entries. They can write an essay or lyrics or a poem. And then after April 10th, when the contest closes, we'll actually, so the winners will be chosen and then we'll actually come around and deliver the prizes to those students in those schools that won. And we have some really cool prizes that mm -hmm. you can win. There's like headphones, I think, Beats headphones, yeah, Beats, uh -huh. tablets, Laptops. Um, like readers, Nook reader type things, maybe. Um, yeah, laptops. Nintendo oh, Switch. Oh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Yes. That's the one we added Big this price. year. Yeah. <laughs> so, super cool things that you can win. So, we'd love for um, students in those grades to submit an entry, and hopefully we can have some winners from maybe some of those schools where we have chapters. So, again, that could be a super cool thing, maybe if your chapter wants to go down and talk to your elementary kids about this. Yeah, and if we have a winner at a um, an elementary school or middle school where we have a high school or junior high or whatever, if we have a chapter in that school, then we'd love to like get you guys together. I know Green Forest was able to bring some students um, when we presented the awards to the um, kid in Green Forest Elementary last year. So um, yeah, that would be a great thing for um, for you guys to partner with us on too. Plus we'll bring the Project Prevent car. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nintendo Switch and the Project Prevent wagon. Fun for all. I don't know why you wouldn't want to enter. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you have questions about my reason to write. And then also, so hopefully you're all following us on social media. If you have been this week, we're doing, we're getting off of our normal posting schedule a little bit. And we're sharing this series of videos from The Real Cost called My Vaping Mistake. And so 
it's a series of four videos. They're right here on the screen, if you can see. Um, but then also you can see them all on our Instagram and Facebook pages. But they're basically just videos of real students and real kids that the real cost found. Um, and they're just talking about how vaping has impacted them and affected their future on different topics. So one is about mental health. One is about just their future in general and what it meant going, trying to go to college and moving forward. Um, the one we shared today, I believe, is actually um, about sports performance. And there's a kid in the one that we shared today. His name is Max. He's from Little Rock, Arkansas. So it's crazy. it's crazy. We didn't even know until we shared it today. Yes. Yeah. If you guys, hopefully you guys go and watch him anyway, but if you go and watch it and anyone happens to know Max, we would love yes. to meet him. <laughs> it was so crazy when we saw that he was from Little Rock. So that's, I mean, we don't have information on what school that he goes yeah. to, but he's the one that talks about um, being a baseball player. Yeah. And when you hear his accent, you'll know you'll that know he's from Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. And then the last one, which we'll share tomorrow is um, about how it affected relationships. So this has been a super cool little series, I think, that we've been sharing. So hopefully you guys will um, get on there and check it out and share it to your pages if you want. All right. Speaking of social media. Oh, yeah, our Trivia Tuesday winners for <laughs> this time. You guys have been obviously getting on again. You guys always love Trivia Tuesday. Um, so we've had some different themes throughout because... Um, we had one about like brain health, how it affects your brain. And then obviously for the month of February, we did one about how nicotine and tobacco can affect the heart. So sometimes we'll have those fun little themes. But the winners for this month are Riley underscore Youngblood, Salvi Boss 84, <laughs> and Cummings dot Addison. So congrats to you guys, <laughs> and we'll tag you guys on our Instagram story like we always do. So if this is you or one of your friends, um, you should be able to see it on our Instagram page, and then you can just like send us a message and say that you're the winner, and we'll send you a prize in the mail. We it's have so fun every time we do this. We have students from all over the state, so yeah. we've been given. I mean, Stephanie mails prizes, prizes everywhere. And yeah, she'll um she's able to get their address and um, sometimes get their whatever t-shirt size if we're doing shirts or whatever that we're able to to send out but yeah she sends out some prizes all over the state we have some really cool things in our prize box right now so you better keep <laughs> up with the trivia tuesday because <laughs> right. there's some good stuff that could be coming to you if you win <laughs> Um, what else do we have? Okay, so a couple, um, we're really focusing on, um, especially with the, um, the Real Cost video series this week, um, a little bit more on quitting and just resources for students that want to stop vaping or using tobacco products of any kind. And um, so I just want to remind you of some great resources that we have. Um, Aspire is that program from MD Anderson that is, um, like a curriculum. There's eight educational mod modules. There's pre and post test and quizzes. Um, this was a great thing to include. I mean, it'd be wonderful just to have it in all of your health classes or all of, you know, whatever homeroom classes that students could work on. But it's also a great thing to include in the discipline policy if a student is caught with tobacco products or vaping products of any kind on campus. So whether they're suspended in school or out of school, um, they could even do this at home and still be able to produce that certificate of completion. So um, it's, it's um, uh, the content is, is wonderful. It covers e-cigarettes. Um, now the new content covers some hookah and synthetic marijuana. So um, it's really great and it's completely free. Um, they have um, some resources on their, um, on the site for Aspire where you can even contact, you know, for tech support if you have questions. Um, it's um, compatible with different um, software, like different computer systems. So um, let me know if you have questions about Aspire. It is, um, it is a really, really good resource, like I said, um, for helping students. We want to not just punish, we want to be able to help them. So other resources for quitting, um, Be Well Arkansas is, um, again, it's taken the place of Stamp Out Smoking. So if you remember the SOS Stamp Out Smoking that we used for years and years and years, um, now Be Well is Arkansas's um, tobacco cessation program. Um, but people can also get help if they have high blood pressure or diabetes. Um, which is a great resource for our state. But I just want to mention and point out that um, you can receive counseling from Be Well um, from if you're um, 13 and older. 
Um, so there's the, a, a text that you can send. They have different smoke-free apps and things on their website. So bewellarkansas.org is the, the website and it's um, our very own you know, program right here in the state has great resources. And again, um, for kids as young as 13. And then the Truth Initiative always has awesome resources too. Um, they have the Become an X um, program. It's a digital quit smoking plan, an online community where um, over 800,000 people have been able to successfully quit using Become an X. And then this is quitting, which is specific to the youth e-cigarette epidemic. So um, those that are addicted to nicotine through vaping um, that are teenagers, that's, it's perfect for them. So just keep these in mind. Um, and be sure that these are shared, you know, with your school, your counselors, um, and um, this may just be something that you could put information out in your bathrooms for all students or put it in your newsletters that go home to parents and that type of thing. And then there's some new resources too from JourneyWorks, and this is, um, I um, included JourneyWorks in our um, toolkit at the beginning of the school year that you received, so um, I think, I know that, um, Coach Newsom has ordered from JourneyWorks and some others, but um, they have a couple of new products, Quitting Vaping um, and Your Brain and Vaping Nicotine are new ones. And then, of course, there's just some others, How to Quit Vaping, but some good um, um, resources there. They have posters, too, so also another good way just to, like, decorate your, your school, your buildings, um, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club or whatever it is, to be able to put up some more information. Um, this is the inside of that quitting vaping brochure, and I know it looks really wordy, but I just wanted to point out that it really does um, cover everything as far as, you know, um, why you want to quit, planning for your triggers, getting support, um, finding a buddy, and um, even some of those resources that we just mentioned, like the Truth Initiative um, and Smoke Free Teen are listed here, too. So some great resources there, and if you receive funding um, for tobacco prevention through Project Prevent or SWAG or, or anywhere else, these would, be a, this would be a great use of your money. Um, okay, so speaking of, uh, let's talk about some things that we had going on um, this first part of the semester. I know last semester, or I'm sorry, last uh, meeting, we didn't have a whole lot of pictures to share because you guys had been on winter break, but now the pictures are, are starting to come in again, which I'm so happy. So this was um, Poen and a booth that they um, hosted. Now, um, hopefully most of you are using, or hopefully all of you are using the new reporting system, and I still um, don't have access to view all of those reports, so uh, when I get the pictures, I might not know exactly what's going on in the picture, so um, when you, um, advisors, if you're emailing me pictures, just please be sure to let me know kind of what you did. Um, I did get an email from our um, friends at Oaklawn in Hot Springs, and um, they've started an after-school games, like an after-school games kind of club or whatever where students can um, just stay after school and hang out and play games, kind of like what we were talking about they were doing in Akron. And um, the Oaklawn Project Prevent students will be presenting um, to all the students on tobacco and nicotine before they get their, the, before they do their games. So I thought that was another great activity. Um, this one I loved. This is from Valley View. And for Valentine's Day, they put Valentine, they, they made Valentine's to put on everybody's lockers, um, which I love. Roses are red, violets are blue. If anyone is vaping, I hope it's not you. <laughs> so cute. And they just stuck them randomly on students' lockers. So such a simple activity, fun, and really, really cute and meaningful. Um, let's see. So um, we have a student from Southside that's reading to elementary students in that um, that um, book that most of you should have. No thanks, but I'd love to dance. If you don't have that, I do still have some extras. Just let me know. Um, it's a great little storybook that just explains um, the da like the um, damage that can be done from smoking, and it's really really good for for young students for for our youngsters. So I do have some extras of those if anybody needs them. And then we had Hamburg Middle School. They're doing their jewel presentation throughout the school. So I loved it. That's that presentation that we shared a while back um, that the Department of Health created. And um, it, I'm happy to share that again if you guys need it. And let's see, we have friends from Fordyce. I believe they were doing some boots and things. And then um, you, we mentioned last time Mountain Home was still keeping up with their vaping related deaths. Well, they are continuing to update this one little piece of paper which is crazy to me that, um, hold on, my phone's ringing. Okay, that uh, they've been able to 
keep this uh, going for so long since before Christmas break, I believe. And they started with the seven, seven people that had died from vaping. It's up to like 68 now. I think so. Yeah. 64, 68. Um, but no one has torn this down. No one has written on it or tried to destroy it. It's right there when you walk right before you walk into their bathrooms <laughs> and these students are just continuing to keep up with this number um, every time it's updated. Again, if you want to keep up with that, cdc.gov, just search vaping on their website. If you go to cdc.gov and search vaping, it'll take you to the latest outbreaks and they update that about every week or so. And then let's see what else do we have. Oh, we have some great pictures from Texarkana. So they did a booth um, with a Mardi Gras theme that was a community event. And um, I love this picture of this little girl in the middle. And you can't see the other whoever belongs to that arm that's like digging their finger into Mr. Grossmouth's tongue, but I just love the look on her face. Um, he is Mr. Grossmouth, <laughs> but they had lots of great information. They were giving out beads. They had crawfish. I mean, looks like a great time. Great time down in Texarkana, so they did a really good job. Um, keep sending pictures if you have some. Um, please uh, email them to, to me or Stephanie and just um, kind of briefly like say what it is. Unfortunately, on the new report where you report your activities, through the website, there's not a way to um, link pictures. So we're, we're still trying to figure out how we wanna manage that. So for now, I apologize, but you'll have to do the report on the website, but still email pictures from your events. But please continue to do so because um, all the reports are great. And of course we need those, but the pictures really tell the stories and it's the just the, the um, seeing you guys in action out there interacting with your community and your classmates and, um, little kids like this. I just love it. So please keep sending them our way. Let's see. I think we, okay, yeah. So just a quick reminder, just a recap. We only have two statewide meetings left, April 1st and May 6th, and then the school year is done. So take down tobacco, the National Day of Action. The technical day is March 18th, but the event at the Capitol um, here in Arkansas is on March 17th. And again, we'll attach that information when I send out the email today. And like Stephanie mentioned, the Travelers School Days, April 15th and 29th. So maybe you could come to one of those um, and let me know if you let either one of us know if you plan to come because um, we want to be able to for sure be able to see you guys there, but also um, be able to um, connect with you and, and you can help us get do some involved. things. Yeah, get involved. Um, and then my reason to write, yes, closes April 10th. So please continue to promote that. We had over 1,200 entries last year. So we always want to beat the, the year before, so we're hoping to get more than 1,200, but um, please help us uh, continue to spread the word about my reason to write. All of this information can be found on our website, projectpreventar.org. If you haven't had a chance to go to the website, please check it out. Um, there's everything you need to know is on the website. The calendar, um, we keep up to date. You can connect to the statewide meetings directly from our calendar. Um, on the website too. And then our social media handles are Project Prevent AR for both Facebook and Instagram. Here's mine and Stephanie's information and our picture with the giant phone <laughs> is for Ready, Set, Record. And um, I don't want to keep you guys past 1230, but I just want to thank you. Again, this has been an amazing school year and it just seems to keep getting better every year. And I'm really looking forward to this final push through the end of the school year to see um, what all else you guys can do. I'm going to unmute everyone. And if you have any questions, you can um, shout them out or um, type them in the comments. Oh, it looks like we have a couple already. Oh, I'm sorry, Kendra, you, you couldn't hear, but now you can. Okay. Annette, it wasn't coming through clear for you either. I apologize. Um, I will send out the um, recording so that uh, you don't miss anything. Does anybody have any questions or anything they want to comment on or add? Well, I thought I had everyone unmuted. I don't know why it's not wanting me to unmute. Okay, well, if you're on and you have um, questions and I can't hear you, I apologize, but please feel free to email me or um, Stephanie or give us a call. Um, we'll be in the office for the rest of the day for sure today, and we're both here all day tomorrow too. So um, let us know if you need anything 
again, um, thank you for um, calling in and, and logging in today. And let us know if you need anything at all. Do you have anything else to add, Stephanie? I don't think so. Okay, well, thank you guys so much.